In this video, I'm going to show you how to do this basic folding text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro and you've got a brand new sequence created, we're first just going to begin by creating a new title. So there's two ways of doing this. You can either select the type tool or alternatively, you can just press T on the keyboard and that will load up the type tool. So T is your keyboard shortcut. Then we're just going to select anywhere in this black video and just type out a word or a phrase of your choice. I'm just going to go for Brooker Films. I'll highlight all of that by going Command and A. Then we'll just go into Effect Controls, Vector Motion, Text, Brooker Films. And we can go ahead and change the look of this. So we can change the font. We can change the weight of this. We can change the size. So I'm just going to increase this. And then I'm just going to pop this all into the middle. We'll go down to transform. We'll pop this in the middle there. And then I'm just going to nudge the position down on the vector motion like this. Now from here, it's really important that we change the anchor point. So we'll go into the vector motion, select anchor point. And at the moment you can see the anchor point is set to the bottom of the E. So essentially an anchor point is where the animation is going to be animated from. So with that at the bottom of the E, if I was to rotate this text, it rotates from around that point. I'll show you a more extreme example. If we put that down there, if I change the rotation, you can see the word is going to rotate around that circle. And the further out the anchor point goes, the further this rotates around there. But essentially what we want to do with this folding animation is we want it to fold from the top of the text and drop down. So we want the anchor point to be at the top of the text like this. Then we can just move the position back up to put this back in the center roughly. And then from there, we'll go into effects and search for basic 3D. So that should be in the perspective folder. We'll just drop basic 3D onto our text. And as you can see, if we go into basic 3D, which is up here, you've got swivel and tilt. So the swivel is going to be from left to right, and then the tilt is going to be up and down. So at the moment, as you can see, it's not really doing a great deal. So I'm just going to change the anchor point even further. And as you can see, that's really starting to work now. So in order to begin this, we want to start with it off screen. So we need to go to 90 degrees. We'll create a brand new keyframe on 90. Then we'll go maybe 10 frames to the right and we'll push this down to, let's go negative 54. Let's see how that looks. There you go, that looks good. Now from there, we're just gonna go back the other way. So we'll go a few frames across and we'll go back to a positive number, but smaller than the 90 from before. So we'll go for 50 on this one. A few frames across, we'll go to a negative number. So let's go negative 40. A few frames across, we'll go maybe plus 30. A few frames across, negative 20. A few frames across, plus 10. And then we can get down into these nitty gritty details and get to about negative eight plus four and then zero. So there you go, over the duration of two and a half seconds, we've got this animation now taking place, which looks pretty good to be fair. For a first go, that looks not half bad. Of course though, feel free to go into that and make any alterations if you need to. If you want that to hold here for a bit longer, so if you want it to hold in this position, then just copy that keyframe. So Command C, move over, Command V. So if we play this back from the very beginning, you can see this is how that looks. Of course, it does stick a little bit, so I'm just going to close that gap a little. And that looks a lot more natural. Now, from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert all of these keyframes from linear into ease in keyframes. So highlight all of those, right click on one of those keyframes and select ease in. There you go. That does look really good. Although I am going to experiment and turn all of those into ease out keyframes to see how that looks. There you go, I think that looks a lot nicer as an ease out rather than an ease in. Of course though, at the moment though, because you can see we've animated this, we need to move the position of this up to get this back into the center. Unfortunately though, it does do this. Because we've pulled the position down, it's now affecting where the anchor point is. And even though that does kind of look cool, that's not the effect I'm looking for. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to motion and pull the position up that way rather than doing the vector motion. And there you go, that puts it where we need it to go. Just gonna put the resolution to full so we can actually see what we're doing on that. And there you go, that is a really awesome drop in text effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. This one is really quick and really simple to do, but it's really effective. So thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.